Hey everyone, my name is Cam Bergeron. I'm an exercise physiologist and I teach classes for senior fitness at all different counts on aging in the South Coast and Boston and Newton areas. Today we're going to be running through a class I call Fall Prevention. We're going to be working on balance, coordination, flexibility, mobility, and posture. So biggest keys in this class of, is if something does not feel right with your body, don't do it. Sit that exercise out and go right back into the next exercise after I instruct it. Besides for that, have fun and we'll get it going. So let's have you chest up nice and tall, all the way back in your chair, lean against your backrest. From there, start with hands right at your armpits, breathing out, press them up, push your hands in together, breathe in, bring them back. Breathe out, and then breathe in. And we're just gonna keep going, just like so, from one right into the next. Keeping chest up tall, don't let yourself round forward into that chair. Always breathing out as you press up. Breathe in as you come back. Two more from here. And good. From there, I'm gonna have you scoot forward a little bit on your chair. Still chest up tall, feet flat, hands together, elbows right by your sides. Now from here, what I'd like you to do is rotate from your shoulders outwards and then bring them back in. Trying to keep about 90 degrees in the elbows at all times. Breathing out as you rotate out, breathe in as you come back. And you should feel your shoulder blades squeezing together in the back. That's what I really would like you to concentrate on. Squeeze those shoulder blades, then come back. Two left. And good. So now from here, we're going to go into sit to stands. If sit to stands are not for you, you could modify by going high knees in place, or you could hold on to that chair and go dual high knees. But besides for that, my rules for sit to stands are toes straight, chest up, look forward and just slightly upwards, and then stand up, squeeze the butt release, keeping that head up just slightly, bring it back down. So I'd like you to breathe out as you stand, breathe in as you come back. After a couple of them, make sure your toes are nice and straight, that they didn't flail outwards. And another important part of the sit to stand is make sure your knees do not dive together. Your knees should stay nice and parallel the whole time. And we're just gonna go for two more. And very nice. So now from there, take yourself and scoot yourself all the way back in your chair, chest up, shoulders back. Now we're going for pelvic tilt. So keep your feet nice and flat on the ground. Take your belly button and you want to push it backwards into that chair and then release. So breathe out, push belly button in and then release. Our goal here is try to flatten our lower back right into the chair. Really good for strengthening those lower ab muscles. And if you've had any type of back injury, this pelvic tilt is your number one exercise to do daily. Two more of these. And good. So now from there, we're gonna work pivoting at your hips. So scoot forward, feet flat, chest up, arms up like so. Now your biggest thing to watch out for with this exercise is make sure you're not rounding your upper back as you move forward. I would like everything to come from your hips. So we're working on hip hinging. So chest up tall, pivot forward, and then bring it back up tall. Breathe out, pivot forward, breathe in, come back. Try to keep your head nice and neutral at all times, so just facing straight ahead. We're going for just two more. Keep going as far forward as you can without rounding that back. And very nice. So now bringing arms straight out forward. We're going neutral grip, so palms are facing one another. Chest up tall. Now take your hands in row. Hands right into armpits, straight back. Elbows go backwards as well. Bring them back out. So what I'd like you to do is breathe in with this one. Try to squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. And then breathe out. Breathe in. 
and breathe out. Most important part here is really just trying to squeeze those shoulder blades together. Last two coming up. And very nice. Okay, so from there, drop those arms down, palms facing forward. I'm gonna start you off with a five star with your hands. Now, what I'd like you to do is breathe in, squeeze your fist, shrug your shoulders, breathe out, press down, and open back up to your five star. Really elongate those fingers as much as you can. So breathe in, squeeze and shrug, breathe out, press down, and open those hands. And we're just gonna go nice and fluidly, one right into the next. If you're pushing down so much with the shoulders, you may feel a little stretching in both sides of your neck, and that's good. That's what we're going for. Two more. And on your last one here, I want you to press down and hold. Keep your chest up tall. Don't let yourself round in. Press those shoulders down, keeping chest up tall. Really open up your hands. Five more seconds here. And very nice, come on out. So now a really good one, really important to do, our hamstrings get very tight, basically every day. Now what I'd like to do to go over that and stretch them out is left leg out straight, chest up, pivoting at the hips, right hand reaches towards left toe, bring it down, alternate sides. So what I'm doing is using my hips to pivot forward and I'm getting a nice stretch all behind my leg. You could feel a stretch anywhere from your heel into your lower back, anywhere in that line of the muscles is what we're looking for to get a stretch. And just keep going nice and fluidly. Just go to about mild discomfort each time you pivot forward and reach towards the leg. Two more each. And good. So now from here, we're gonna work a little balance now that we loosened up the lower body. So let's have you stand up properly. Toes straight, chest up, look up slightly, and stand on up. And then from here, come behind your chair. So now we're gonna get into a little balance activities. I always like to say, when it comes to chair, when it comes to the chair, always stay safe. Never pull that chair to you. Never push it forwards. Always push straight down into that chair so it doesn't move around on you. I would definitely suggest not using a chair with wheels when it comes to all these balance activities. Your first stance is just going to be a tandem stance. So we're gonna go left foot in front of right, heel to toe, bend both knees, chest up tall. What I want you to do is bring your belly button in just like the pelvic tilt we did on the chair and focus straight in front of you on a non-moving point. Find a light switch, a speck on the wall, anything you can see that you can just concentrate on. Start off holding on with two hands. If you feel comfortable, you can let go of one hand. You can let go of some fingers. You can hold with just one or two fingers. Do whatever you can to challenge your balance while staying safe. And then just hold there about 15 more seconds. If you're going to use no hands, I would suggest keep them right above it so you can tap that chair just in case you lose your balance. Three two and very nice so step out of that we're going to switch sides for this one I'm gonna show you sideways that way you can see it from a little bit different of an angle so now we're going right foot in front of left heel to toe bend those knees just a little bit chest up tall belly button in and focus in front of you on your non-moving point and then just hold keep focusing just like before start off with your two hands and if you're comfortable you can let a couple fingers go let one hand go, maybe hold on with no hands, no fingers, and just concentrate. But always keep those hands right by that chair in case you need to tap it if you lose your balance. Staying safe is the most important part about taking this class. Five seconds. And very nice. Okay, so from there, step on out. Sometimes you'll feel a little 
just a little tightness or a little bit of work being done in those outer hips, outer thighs. So if you need to just shake out the legs, shake them out real quick. And we're gonna hop into another exercise. So keeping a little bend in your right knee, this is going to be your stability leg. Hold on to two hands. Left leg, I would like you to bring left leg out straight to the left and then bring it right back in without touching the ground. So breathe out, lift that leg out to the left, breathe in, bring it back. What I'd like you to really do here is pay attention to your left toe. If your left toe is pointed up, you're going to get a little false range of motion. Make sure that left toe is facing straight forwards at all times. And same rules apply with this one. You wanna just focus in front of you on your non-moving point. And if you feel comfortable, you can let one hand off, some fingers off, or you can let both hands off. But always stay right by that chair in case you need assistance. We're going for two more. And very nice. So from there, we're switching legs. Now we're going for a little bend in your left knee, chest up tall as usual. Right leg with your toes straight goes out to the right. Bring it back in without touching the ground. Breathe out and then breathe in. We're just gonna go nice and fluidly from one to the other. Just make sure you're not bringing that leg out so much that you're toppling over to the opposite side. You wanna keep yourself up tall. We have two left. And very nice. All right, so let's shake out those legs real quick if you need. Now, what I'd like you to do is just normal standing distance, whatever that is for you. Toes straight, chest up, start off holding onto that chair. And then we're gonna come as high as you can up on those tippy toes. Bring them back down nice and fluidly. Breathe out, come up on those tippy toes. Breathe in, bring them down. And just trying to stay up nice and tall. Don't let yourself fall forward over that chair. And with this one, you can definitely work balance as well. So if you want to take a couple fingers off and just lightly hold the chair while you come up on your toes, you can. If you're going to let go of both hands, I would rather you hold on and go all the way up for full range of motion than not holding on and be able to just go up a little bit. Full range of motion is more important than balance for this activity. We're going for two more. And very nice. Okay, now that we worked those calves pretty well, I'm gonna go to the side so you can see a little bit more clearly. We're gonna give a nice little calf stretch. So left leg forward, right leg backwards. Chest up tall, try not to be rounded forward. What I'd like you to do is push down into your chair, down into your right heel, and you should be getting a nice stretch right in the right calf. Now, make sure that right knee is not completely straight. You just want a slight bend in that right knee to protect the joint. And then from there, hold your stretch at mild discomfort. And we'll be here for about another 10, 15 seconds. Four, three, two, and very nice. So we're switching sides, right leg forward, left leg backwards. Chest up, push down into your chair, down into your left heel, and holding that stretch at mild discomfort. Just keep breathing fluidly. Five, four, three, two, and very nice. Step on forward. And with all that balance work being done, I'm gonna have you come forward on your chair, but before you sit down, make sure you sit to stand properly. It's better to sit and stand properly, even just for one single rep, doesn't have to be for 10 reps in a row. Every time you get off a chair or coming back down, you'll always try to do it properly instead of touching the chair and grabbing it to sit down. Center yourself, straighten your toes, chest up, and then just bring yourself down into that chair. Now, what I would like to do since we work those outer hips, I wanna get a nice little stretch going. So we're gonna go for an active stretch. I would like you to bring your right ankle on your left knee. Now, if you cannot reach ankle on knee, what I would like you to do is extend out your left leg, go ankle on shin, and then you can hold yourself just like so. Now, 
going from this position, what I'd like you to do is keep chest up, don't completely just round over. Using your hips to pivot, I'd like you to breathe out, pivot forward. You're gonna get a little stretch somewhere around this right hip joint and then just come out of it. And then breathe out, pivot forward for a nice easy stretch. Breathe in, bring it back. And we're just gonna go nice and easy, one right into the next, just to work through your range of motion of that hip joint. If you're not feeling the greatest stretch, you can come upwards on your left tippy toe and then lean forward. That's gonna change the angle in that right hip and make it just a little bit more. And very good. From there, come down off that tippy toe if you're on it and let's switch sides. Left ankle on right knee and this may be your more rigid side. So this side you may need to extend out your right foot and then go ankle on knee and hold it like so. But if you can reach left ankle on right knee, come back into position, chest up using your hips to pivot, breathe out, pivot forward just to get that little stretch. Breathe in, bring it back. Breathe out and breathe in. Just nice and easy, trying to slowly work through your range of motion. Three left. And very nice. Okay, so now from here, scoot yourself forward. We're gonna go back to the shoulders. Chest up tall. Now, from what we did before, the external rotation, like so, this is going to be your modification right here. If the next exercise I show you causes any pain in the shoulders, I would like you to go back to this one. But now we're gonna do external rotation at a different angle. So bring arms up like a field goal, try to keep 90 degrees in those elbows. And then from your shoulders, rotate down, rotate up. Breathe in and breathe out. So like I said, pain is a no-go. Switch to the previous exercise. If you hear little snap, crackle, popping, but there's no pain, that's perfectly normal. That's your body's natural noises. So just keep going with that. Three left. And last one. Very nice, bring those arms down. So now what I'd like you to do here is scoot nice and far forward, legs out straight. When you go into this position, you immediately want to round, but what I do is counteract that. So chest up nice and tall, shoulders back, Palms facing forward. We're just gonna work on posture for the next 10 seconds. And just hold yourself against rounding. Four, three, two, and very nice. Coming out of that, what I like you to do, staying nice and far forward in your chair, grab that chair behind you. Putting your elbows into the chair may or may not help you keep stability, so you can do either one. But no matter what, keep chest up. Make sure you're not rounding into your chair. What I'd like you to do is start off with left leg out straight, right leg up. Now, we're going to go for a bicycle, so pedal your bicycle in a nice fluid, big circular motion. If this is a little bit too much for you, feel free to stop on the ground each time to make it just a little bit easier. But if you're okay, keep going there. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, and very nice. So now to practice posture again, sit up nice and tall and I want you to breathe out and just collapse. And then breathe in, chest up, shoulders back, breathe out and collapse. And we're just gonna go nice and easy, work in the range of motion of that spine. Make sure you really exaggerate your upward motion. Chest out, shoulders back. Two left. And very nice, stay up tall on your last one. Now we're bringing you back all the way forwards. Chest up, lean back, you can put your elbows into the chair if you like. Left leg out straight, right leg up. Now before we were into forward bicycles like so, 
Now we're going to flip the script and we're going backwards. So do your best, it's tricky. Makes your head work a little bit. Good, stay thinking. You wanna think down, forward, up, and back. Down, forward, up, and back. Lastly, feel free to stop, stop, if you need to. Five, five, three, three, two, two, one, and very nice from there. So now what I'm gonna have you all do is toe straight, chest up, look up, stand up, and let's come behind your chair one last time. So when we get back here, we're gonna work a little bit more balance. What I'd like you to do, sidestep to the left of your chair. That way you just have a good amount of space in front of your feet. Little bend in your right knee at all times, holding on with your right hand. Left leg comes up. Now from here, kick that left leg down without rounding, and then bring it back up. Breathe out, and then breathe in. So start off with that whole hand on it. And then if you get comfortable, you can let some fingers go, but keep focusing in front of you at your non-moving point. Always keep that hand by so you can tap it, just in case. Safety is always number one. Two left. And then after you finish this rep, I would like you to take that left knee, bring it up and hold. So now, little bend in your right knee, squeeze the butt, belly button in, chest up and focus. I would also like that left toe upwards. Don't let it point down. And then if you get comfortable, you can let some hands go, some fingers go, whatever you like, as long as you stay safe. Five, four, three, two, and very nice. Bring that down and let's sidestep all the way to your right. Now keeping a little bend in your left knee, left hand holds on, right knee comes up, chest up. Now kick that down, bring it back up. Breathe out, breathe in. And then keeping that whole hand on to start. And then if you get comfortable, let some fingers off or the hand off and just keep it hovered. But no matter what, keep focusing on your non-moving point. We have three left. And after this rep, what I'd like you to do is take that right knee, hold it up, Little bend in your left knee, squeeze the butt, belly button in, chest up and focus. Start off holding that chair and then you can let some fingers off or the hand off if you'd like. Ten seconds. Three, two, and come on down. So now for the next exercise, I'm gonna turn sideways. Chest up tall. Most important part here is that you're not arching your back each and every time. So keep stomach tight, hold on to the chair first, and let's go butt kicks. Heel to butt, heel to butt. I would like you to stay nice and close to that chair. That way if you high knee instead of butt kick, you get a little feedback from that chair. So just you should just be flicking heel to butt, Start off at this moderate pace, keep holding on. If you get comfortable, let a hand off or two. Now pick it up just a little bit quicker. Get a nice flick, heel to butt, heel to butt without arching that back. So keep it nice and tight. And now go even faster, so give it a nice flick. You may get a nice little stretch in the front of your quads when you flick it back quick. Three. Three, two, two, one, and very nice. Okay, so now we're gonna come down to one of the most important parts of our class today. So come to the front of your chair, but sit down properly, toes straight, chest up, look up just slightly, and bring it on down. So we're going to end the class with some stretching. Let's do a bend in your left knee, right leg out straight. As usual, pivoting from your hips, not rounding your back. So. With chest up, pivot from your hips, right arm reaches towards right toes. You should feel a nice stretch all the way back here. May even go into your lower back if you're very tight. 
keep your head pointed towards that toe. That way you're not straining your neck upwards. And just find your point at mild discomfort, breathe fluidly, and hold. I would rather you be away from your toes, chest up tall, than slumped over, touching your toes. So keep that in mind, we have about another 10 seconds. And very nice, come on up tall, bend that right leg in, left leg out straight, pivoting from your hips, left hand towards left toes, getting a nice mild discomfort stretch in the hamstrings or the calves. And just hold, breathe fluidly and relax. Keep it head pointed towards the foot. Four, three, two, and come on out of that. So for the next stretch, I would like you to scoot all the way back in your chair. It's like what we did before, but instead of an active stretch, we're going to a passive one. So bring right ankle on left knee, or right ankle on left shin, whichever one works for you. And same rules before, don't just collapse over. Keep chest up, pivoting from your hips. You can just lean forward. We're gonna get a nice stretch all around this right hip joint. And then just hold, so find your point at mild discomfort. And just hold, stretch, keep breathing fluidly. It's gonna be here for about 15, 20 seconds. And try to keep your head straight forward, not looking up. Keep a nice neutral back. Four, three, two, coming out of the right side. Switch sides, so now we're going left ankle on right knee. Chest up, pivoting at your hips. Go forward until you get a nice mild discomfort or a little bit past it. Stretch in that left hip region. And just keep breathing, always very important to breathe during your stretching. You want to supply all the muscles with as much oxygen as you can. You have about 10 seconds left. And very nice. Come out of that. So what I'd like you to do from here is chest up nice and tall. Slide to the right side of your chair. Now, I have basically just my left leg on. My right leg is going straight backwards. Chest up nice and tall. You should be getting a nice stretch in the front of your right quad. And then just hold like so. If you need more of a stretch, you can lean back and that will give you a greater stretch on that right quad. And just breathe fluidly and relax. And then if this little tricky angle to see at, I'm gonna show the same stretch in the frontward position. So you could also spin like so. Left leg is forward, right leg is back, chest up tall, and hold. We have about five seconds left. And very nice, slowly come on out of that. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Slide to your left. So just basically your right leg is on, left leg goes back, chest up, dip that left knee down, and just hold position for your 20, 30 second stretch. And then with this one too, I will show you from the front angle. So right leg is forward, left leg is back, chest up tall, and then hold. 10 seconds left. Three, two, and very nice. So, coming out of that, I wanna bring you back into the chair one more time for ankle on knee or ankle on shin, whatever works best. Chest up, shoulders back. Now take your right knee and pull it or hug it across body to your left armpit. Should be getting a nice stretch right in that outer right hip. And just hold chest up tall, look straight ahead. And just keep breathing fluidly. Always holding those stretches right at mild discomfort. 10 seconds. Three, two, and come on out. Switching sides, left ankle on right knee or on right shin. Now pulling your left knee across body to right armpit. You should be getting a nice stretch in the outer left hip. 
Hold that at mild discomfort or a little bit past. Breathe fluidly and relax. Five, four, three, two, and come on out. And since as a population, we always are rounded forward in our recliners, our cars, our desk, really anything, what I like to do is bring you all the way back in your chair. Chest up, arms by your sides. Now bring arms all the way up and let your back arch. So you're just gonna give a little back arch and then come back. So breathe in, arms back, arch your back, breathe out. You may feel a little pinching sensation in that back, and I want you to go up to the pinch point. Do not work through the pinch point. So breathe in, give a nice back arch up to that pinch point, and then come out. Two more. And on this last one, as you bring your arms down, we're going to go toes straight, chest up, look up, stand up. And very nice work, everybody. Thank you for taking my fall prevention class, and I hope you all stay safe and healthy. Bye.